I first got to meet El Sistema last, I think it was last summer when I came and Clark invited me to come and sing a concert at Aeolian Hall. And he said, we also have these awesome young singers and players if you'd like to come work with them. And I said, immediately, yes. So last year we got together and we performed together in a concert. And I was so, I was really struck because I worked with a lot of young singers and these singers really liked each other. I was like, there's a family going on here. We just bonded instantly. Um, I'm kind of a big kid myself. I just bounce around like a Tigger um, character. And so when I get around them, I just, you know, it's just, they just bring it out of me. So I'm back this year uh, to do a whole Pride concert. And we get to perform several songs together on Sunday. Um, we're doing a couple so that I wrote um, that I kind of always dreamed of having young singers, and now we're finally getting to do it. So maybe 10 years ago, I wrote a song called Field Trip Buddy, which is about having a crush on your friend in school. And now on Sunday, we actually get to sing it how it's meant to be with a whole bunch of kids singing the chorus, which is amazing. Um, they're joining me on another song called Monarch, which has kind of turned into a little bit of a theme song for us. Um, and that song's just about kind of about knowing where you belong inside, like it's written on your DNA, and you end up where you belong if you just spread your wings. So that song makes a lot of sense with those little, I call them my little monarchs. Um, and then we're also just kind of letting loose with some awesome covers from the 80s and 90s. We're doing a cover of Tracy Chapman's Gimme One Reason, which is really cool because um, one of the young singers, uh, her name is Aiden, and she was like a blues singer just waiting to happen. No one ever asked her to sing the blues until yesterday. And I said, Aiden, come over here at the piano. I want you to listen to this Tracy Chapman song. What do you think about it? And it's just it's like, it just came out. <laughs> so she's making her blues singer debut on Sunday um, with that song. And it, we're, we're, just, uh, we're just having a ball together. Yeah, I, today was just, it was a really cool day. Like, we've been doing mostly musical rehearsal for the last couple of days, and that's been going great. And today they said they wanted to throw a barbecue for us all, and so that was pretty cool. We, got, we actually got some hang time. And I got a chance to just ask them some real direct questions about um, their identities and what their community is like, what their families are like. Um, and I was just so blown away, they were so honest. I did join a choir. And it was a great choir, it was a really good experience for me, and it's, it probably saved my life. You know, it was the one place I felt the most normal, although I couldn't be out. I was still a kid in the closet in my choir. Hanging out with these kids this week has just been so, ex so excited. We just got real with each other, and I was just like, hey, um, you know, can you, be, can you be yourself in this choir? What's it like? Can you be gay? Can you be bi? Is that okay here? And they just, they looked at me like, why are you even asking that question? which was just really refreshing, you know. I loved that, like, one kid said, I'm not, I haven't told my parents who I am yet. And another one, two, two doors down, two kids down said, do you want some tips? You know, and like, immediately they were like, you know, I can help you with that. I can help you talk to your family. And I just thought, wow, wouldn't it have been cool to be 15, 14, 10, and to, to know that my friends have my back? and that I'm gonna have help talking to my parents about who I am. Like, I just thought, wow, this is so cool. In a world that seems pretty messed up, like, this gives me some hope with these kids, what, what they're doing for each other. I wish the program could just be four times as big or five times as big because there's so many good things happening here. And then musically, too, it's just, these kids are learning incredible skills. They'll get up and sing in three-part harmony, which is pretty hard to get any age group choir to do. And then in the moment's notice, they walk across the stage and pick up violins and cellos and violas and they're playing strings. And I just, I blink my eyes and I think, what's going on here? Um, just really beautiful, important work. And uh, I think I'm just kind of flashing forward a bit thinking, gosh, how many kids are gonna get to listen to their story and get to meet these El Sistema kids? They're gonna help a lot of people. I don't think they really realize it, you know, they're just eating burgers and having popsicles. 
but they don't, I don't think they quite understand like the impact of them just being honest. Hanging out with these kids heals, heals all of my anxiety and worry about the world because I think, well, at least here's a young generation that gets it. Um, and yeah, I can hold on to that. Against my